record is such a huge, huge milestone. When you were looking at like what you guys wanted to do for the episode, how much debate was there about what episode you felt was the right one to have here? We didn't have much of a debate. Um, I think, you know, right away, uh, um, there's a urge that you have to resist, which is to do something crazy. Uh, once we got over that initial urge and you sort of shake that off, then you just go the other way, completely the other way. Do an episode that feels like it could have been the first episode. Do an episode that feels like it's the quintessential Bob's episode, not some crazy, um, stunty, um, you know, elaborate um, thing that somehow feels other. Do your thing. Uh, make it maybe feel a little bigger. Maybe have a, you know, a little bit of a larger cast, perhaps, guest yeah. cast. Um, but otherwise, we just settled in and tried to write an episode that could have been in the first season that we would have felt hopefully at home being even the first one. Yeah. Well, I mean, there is a little bit of a perhaps intentional or not um, homage to what where the show is kind of in the world because there is talk about Bob being a little underrated, a little underappreciated, perhaps not as big as he deserves in terms of his restaurant quality. Was that intentional or is that just something that was... It's, here's, I, I, we try always not to do, we always try not to do self-conscious jokes yeah. or writing. Uh, we're always, you know, scribbling in the margins of scripts. Like, is this too self-conscious? Let's not do it for a joke or a premise. So for me, any resonance in the hundredth where uh, the people in the town are appreciating or not appreciating Bob's Burgers, it's it's accidental, coincidental, and actually, I don't, you know, we don't want to go there. Fan who are putting it on the line themselves. It's not you guys trying to make it. We're not. That. We're not. What we want to do is tell a story about a guy who is important to the town but who isn't necessarily um, successful in, by any conventional standards. So, you know, we accidentally stumble into some parallels but not a purpose. Well, you said there are so many great guest stars in this episode. Was there a lot of debate about who should kind of fill in that, that little restroom area? <laughs> Uh, again, not debate. We cast a really wide net. We sent out um, an availability check on basically everybody we've ever worked with, and we started working from there. There was a matrix of people um, who weren't available and who we would love to have in the episode, and we may even sneak them in so that this table read uh, might actually be half the cast of the final thing. We'll see. Yeah. Also, at this point, now that you've seen what Bob has become to fans, what become to the people who are associated with it, what does it mean to you? Really good one. I mean, it's <laughs> there's um, no question that I was born to do this job. I am so glad to be able to say that. So, uh, to me, in a way, um, it's just oxygen. I I get to um, do a thing that I seem to be suited to do, that I enjoy doing, um, and then I happen to work with people that I love working with. Um, to me, you know, that is um, incredibly satisfying already. And then to have a relationship with the fans, to, to know that um, it might have value, that, it, you know, I might get to the end of my creative life and have left something behind, something behind that may, hopefully maybe um, made the world even infinitesimally better or at least meant something to someone um, who used it in a way corny is hell to say. I hate myself for saying it, but I mean, that's that's what it means. Obviously, you get to be uh, my age, you know, you're, you just want to have a job that doesn't mean nothing and do nothing, contribute nothing. So, you take your little successes where you, where you can buy them.